What's up guys, and today we got the campaign Telvin Smith 87 overall. Now I got mine up to an 88 overall with the power up. So even without that, I feel like he won't play that much different. Yes, he'll play a little better with the power up, but just keep that in mind. If you don't power him up, he'll still be a, uh, still be a beast. With 84 speed, 85 acceleration, 88 block shed, man. The guy is a monster at what he does. Now the zone coverage was, I believe, a 78. Yeah, 78 zone. Not a great pass rusher, man. It's just not there. I don't recommend trying to turn him into a pass rusher. You might be disappointed more often than you think. But um, the 78 zone, it it was okay. It was what I expected. There were a few times, believe me, where the ball was thrown in his area. He didn't really reach out, you know, swat it down or even do anything like that. He did okay, like I said, but he didn't do as... He lived up to a 78. That's the best way to put it. He lived up to a 78 overall. As far as his own coverage anyways, but you see right there, man, just average as far as zone coverage. When it came to tackling and the hit power, he did, did not shy away. Even if I didn't click on, the guy loves to throw hit sticks and I love that about him. And I'm not even messing with the settings or anything. I'm not I'm letting him do his own thing. Like, right, look at him right here. He's not going to get touched. He's going to wait for his time. And look at this. Demolishes him and then points at him. <laughs> that was just so disrespectful and amazing. That I love that play, man. That shows his ferocity. That's what I'm talking about, man. He's so vicious and he only caused one phone ball, which is right here, but it was against Lamar Jackson. So bear that in mind. But without a doubt, man, where he shined the brightest was block shedding. It wasn't even close. He dominated the run game. I feel like a lot of people throw that word around, you know, the player dominates, especially Madden. He dominated this, he dominated that. I do not I do not like to throw certain words like that around. If I say someone dominated in something, it means he damn dominated in it. And he, so when I say Tuffin Smith, the campaign version dominated, you can take my word for it. Look right here. The lineman is going to push him to the left. What's he going to do? Spin to the right and blow up the run. And once would have been good enough. But guess what? The exact same drive, not that later on. The same thing. Push to the left. What's he do? Spin to the right and blow up that run. That is what I love to see from um, my linebackers, and I can absolutely tell you right now, man, this guy is a beast. Do not, if you want to get him, I highly suggest it. And look, this is so clutch, man. Fourth and one, and what did he do? Disengage, turn his, turn around, found the running back, and brought him down. So anyways guys that's going to wrap this up and the good thing about Tevin Smith is he's not going to cost you a single coin or a penny to get. You just got to grind through the campaign. I know that that might take a little time but I promise you it's worth it. You will have a solid right outside linebacker. And I know there's all this stuff about you know yeah he's, he's a 4-3 linebacker guys. I run a 3-4 and look what he was doing for me. D just amazing doing everything I needed to do. And so if you want to go for him I can't give him enough praise I know this whole a lot of people say Clowney is the best one to go with you can go with Clowney if you want to there's no shade on Clowney but I would rather stick with Tobin Smith that's why I'm spending all my training points and everything else I can on him but um, anyways guys I see you boys for the next review let me know who you want to see next peace